The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex are out and about making moves, you know, walking as a star that they truly are. We all know very well that they are in Colombia. And today I'll be just giving you a recap over the second day. That was yesterday, you know, what took Plaza during the second day in uh, Colombia. But first and foremost, I'm so happy for both Harry and uh, Meghan. I'm really happy. And the reason as to why I'm happy is the fact that no negative narrative stops them from looking ahead. This must really irritate the royal family. I respect Harry and Meghan's conviction and constant need to do the right thing even in the face of serious opposition. From family and press, it's a constant battle. They manage to continue to shine the light where it is needed. And that is one motivating and inspiring thing that I bet we've learned from both Harry and Meghan. Stand for what you believe in, even if it means standing alone. Like just make sure you pursue it. Yesterday, Harry and Meghan managed, you know, to visit our school. I did that for you. And they also later on managed to meet up with the Invictus Games team in Colombia. Like, it is amazing to see them ensure that they are navigating this space. They are working or just meeting up with every other person that they needed to get to. On the second day and final day in Bogota, the Duke and the Duchess accompanied by Vice President and her partner visited the Center of Inclusive for Inclusive Rehabilitation. The state of the art facility managed by the Directorate of Veterans and Inclusive Rehabilitation. Support supports active duty service members and veterans and also serves as the training ground for Team Colombia, which joined the Invictors in 2023. We managed to see them participate or take part in the Invictors game that took place or happened last year in September. That was the first time Colombia had joined the Invictors game. The couple was welcomed by military officials and a veteran military band that performed a cubier and salsa melody before they began their tour of the facilities. They explored the swimming pool, rock climbing wall, gym and rehabilitation areas, engaging with athletes about their exercise routines, favorite workouts and strategies for maintaining strength. That's awesome. That's incredible. That's amazing. I'm loving it. Harry and Meghan's tour to Colombia has really shaken those who thought that they were unshakable. They have really gotten triggered to some extent. The group that attended a volleyball match where, you know, the, 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 the vice president partner and Prince Harry participated with the vice president and the Duchess cheered from the sidelines. After the match, Prince Harry met with Koreanian war veterans and both he and Meghan toured the center's atoll, featuring artwork by Invictus athletes. The Duchess received a painting, a hand-knit animal, and a, beard, a beaded necklace and earrings from the artist. While the Duke was presented with a lot of, uh, you know, a commemorative plaque from the Ministry of National Defense veteran. The Center for Inclusive Rehabilitation is not just a place uh, of physical recovery. It is a hub of inspiration and a community. It stands as a testament of the power of adaptive sports and rehabilitation in uh, transforming lives and empowering veterans and service members to reach uh, new heights. I'm loving it.
all Harry and Meghan do is always want to make a difference. All Harry and Meghan do is ensuring that they want to make this world a better place even for the lesser privileged. Even for those who gave up. Even for those who see no life in it. Harry and Meghan are always there to support them and show them the way. I'm loving every single day of theirs. The more they continue to stay there, the more they continue impacting lives and just making people see that you know what, you can do it. Just ensure that you stand for what you believe in. Seeing Harry and Meghan, you know, just uh, play games with the veterans, it is really, really moving. And I bet very, very inspirational at uh, the same time. Like, it is basically leading by example. That's, you know, the Duke and the Duchess. Uh, that's the Duke of the, the Duke of Sussex playing uh, volleyball with fellow veterans. It is really, really inspiring, if I'm to say. And after that, of course photo sessions never missed out i bet that harry and megan one thing that they love uh, so much like they always stand to always want to make a difference i'm loving i'm loving i'm loving harry and megan that was amazing that was incredible and earlier they had visited a school one among us the best recognized schools around the world they had a day and we are also expecting to see them today out and about making a difference as always i don't know what you have to say myself can't wait to see which other what's the next country like what's the next country that they'll be visiting as much as the haters and the derangers the royal family the british press are really peace out there that doesn't stop them because i just saw this whole piece whereby the royal family will be gathered at Balmoral to discuss on the withdrawals of harry and megan's title that's how senseless they can be but you know that's what basically they are probing harry and megan are out there making a difference while the royal family who are supposed to be so much investing in people and doing what people want to hear and see they are out there planning on how to remove harry and megan's title that's pathetic and awful of course i don't know what's your thinking so far how's your experience just let me know in the comment section and add so much love to read and get back to you I've been your host, Famish Rainford.